All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Chakodash. I give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and uh, peace and salutations to the Akim and to the elect that is scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth and faith and sincerity. Yeah, basically, this is going to be a quick lesson, you know, dealing with that. If you really believe in this truth, you'll move different. All right, if you really believe that America is going to be destroyed, you will behave yourself differently in this society. All right, if you really believe that Yahweh Shah is coming back, all right, you will put your all into this truth. All right, you'll go, you'll go your hardest. All right, you wouldn't be just doing the bare minimum. All right. You know, like I said, you'll be giving the truth your all, all right, because this place can go out any day now, all right, and you don't really got time to be bullshitting, you know, if you really believed, you wouldn't, all right, this is uh, 2 Peter 3 and 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, all right, the day the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. So nobody really knows when Yahweh Shah is going to return. All right, he doesn't even know. All right, only only the Heavenly Father knows. All right, let me grab that. This is um Mark 13, all right, and 32. It says, But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. All right, so... Yahweh Shah, he said he don't even know that time. All right, that this destruction upon this place is going to come. All right, the day that he's going to return, he don't even know. All right, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know, basically got to give him the go-ahead. All right, got to give him the green light. All right. But since the day of the Lord going to come as a thief in the night, most of these people are going to be off, caught off guard, all right, because they're too into their lives. All right, too much into themselves. They're worried about, you know, what they're going to do tomorrow, what they're going to do in five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. You know, how much money they're going to have in their 401k when they retire. You know, they're not looking for the destruction all right, to come, you know. But we know. We know what's, what's, what's going to come. All right, this is First Thessalonians 5, and I'll start at 1. It says, But the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourself, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right, so us in this truth, we already know how, the, how this thing is going to play out, you know. Meaning that Yahweh Shah is gonna come as a thief in the night. All right, we just we know that we just gotta watch out for these prophecies. All right, you know that'll tell us that the time is close. All right, but continuing on, it says, "In which the heavens shall pass away with a great great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up." All right. And what's going to do this? This is talking about those nuclear missiles. All right, because that's the only thing that can burn the elements up like that. All right. And everything is burnt up. I mean, it's, uh, it's made up of elements. All right. Our bodies are made up of elements. All right. Everything is made up of elements. So basically saying everything is going to get burnt up. All right. It says, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So everything that's going on in society is going to be destroyed as well. All right. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? If you're going to turn conversation, it, it, it's basically talking about your conduct and behavior. All right. So knowing that all these things is about to happen, knowing that this place is going to be destroyed, knowing that everything in America or in certain parts of the world as well, all right, but mainly America is going to be burnt up. Knowing that, you know, how should you be behaving yourself? You know, it says, 
in all holy conversation and godliness. So you should be walking according to the scriptures, you know, to the best of your ability, knowing that this place can go out at any time. Right? Because like I, like I said before, pe people people going to get caught off guard. All right, but we know. All right, so you shouldn't be bullshitting. For you to know, all right, and still be bullshitting, hey, you in a bad case. All right, this is uh, First Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Yeah, judgment is going to begin with us. You know, you got, because you got guys in Israel that's just bullshitting. You got guys teaching false doctrine. All right, just, just teaching madness, teaching lies. All right, teaching things that basically they just came up with. All right, saying they, they got this revelation on this. This don't mean that, you know. And you got guys that sold out. All right, they doing it for the money. All right, they doing it so they can get something in their pockets. They not really sincere about this truth, you know, and those guys are going to get judged as well as the guys that are bullshit that's not taking this thing seriously, all right, because we go out and we say that, yeah, judgment is going to come to the two-thirds, you know, this going to happen to the two-thirds, you know, it's basically when we go into the judgment on them, all right, if you don't get yourself together, all right, you're going to be a part of that too, you know? You're going to get destroyed as well. All right? If you're not really giving this truth to your all, if you're not really believing in your help, by you know, shy, changing your ways, you know, and, and basically denying, denying this world. All right? Because what does the, uh, the book of Titus say? This is Titus 2. I started 11. For the grace of the Most High that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Yes, yeah, said denying ungodliness and worldly lusts. All right, we, supposed to, we ain't supposed to be doing everything everybody else doing, all right, being into everything that, you know, that's this society, all right, Israel, the wicked, the wicked of our people are into. All right, we shouldn't be living like them. All right, we should be way much better. All right, it says living righteous in this present world. You know, holy, separate. All right, walking according to his law, statutes, and commandments. All right, to the best of our ability. All right, because we know what's going to happen. They don't. All right. So that should, knowing, knowing, knowing that this place is going to be destroyed, but that should be a motivation right there that you need to do what you need to do. All right. To be able to make it. Alright. This is a. Uh, Philippians 2 and 12. Wherefore my beloved. As ye have always obeyed. Not as in my presence only. But now much more in my, in my absence. Work out your own salvation. With fear and trembling. So you supposed to be trying to. Trying to make it up out of here. All right, it says work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. All right, why, why, why should you be doing it with fear and trembling? Because you know that the Most High is not somebody to be played with. You know that because you read the scriptures, you know how the Most High get down. All right, you know how he how, how he killed people in the past. All right, you know how they called him Allah Shadia. All right, demon like terrible power, the same power that flooded the earth. All right, and you know how your house shot get down because he telling you what he coming back to do. All right. So you should be trying to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right, nobody should have to tell you, oh, you got to be on fire. You got to be diligent. Nobody should have to tell you, oh, you got to read. You got to study. You should be doing that for yourself. Nobody can't hold your hand. Nobody can't drag you to the kingdom, all right? Because when your hot shot comes back, when, when, when people get beamed up, all right, when the elect getting beamed up, ain't no brother going to be able to grab you, all right, when they getting beamed up. All right, that's not it's not gonna happen like that. All right, so you gotta you gotta do it on your own. All right, this is uh, cause what does the scripture say? It 
2 Peter 1 and 10, Wherefore the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fail. So you got to give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Because only the elect is going to be saved up out of here. So you got to give diligence. You got to put in that work. All right, nothing comes without putting in work. You have to labor. All right. You're not just going to get the kingdom just from doing nothing. All right. Just like in this society, you got to work for the thing that you want. If you don't go to work, you're not going to eat. If you don't go to work, you're not going to have nice things. If you don't go to work, you're not going to be able to fix your car, you know, do certain things around the house. You got to work. You got to put in work. All right. It, 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 it's not just going to come easy. It's from you sitting on your ass being lazy. All right. You got to work if you want the kingdom. You got to work if you want salvation. You know, so this destruction that's coming, that should put fear in you, man. You know, and that should be your motivation. All right. And then that's that's really the lesson, you know, so with that, you know, I'm going to say Shalom.